We're almost into July, and that means it's nearly time for Samsung's next big foldable reveal. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is still fresh, but it didn't really deliver the major leap we were all hoping for. Yes, it's a solid phone, but let's be honest it's felt like a minor update for a while now. That's why so many people are looking ahead to the Galaxy Z Fold 7, because this time, Samsung might finally bring the big changes we've been waiting for, there's already strong speculation that the Fold 7 will be thinner, more powerful, and packed with hardware improvements across the board. We're talking better IP protection, enhanced speakers, improved charging speeds, and hopefully a vapor chamber cooling system, but the biggest buzz, cameras. Rumors suggest we could see a 200 megapixel camera similar to what's found in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which would make the Z Fold 7 stand out as the most powerful camera setup in any foldable to date. However, there's one major concern that fans can't ignore the S Pen. It looks like Samsung might drop the traditional S Pen support in the Fold 7, and that's a huge deal. Historically, the S Pen has been a key feature for the Fold line, especially since the Z Fold 3. But reports suggest that the digitizer the layer that enables the S Pen to function may be removed in order to make the screen thinner. So, while we might get a redesigned or alternate stylus, there's no guarantee it'll offer the same experience. Personally, I love the S Pen on my Fold. I don't even use it that much on my Ultra, but on the Fold, it feels natural especially. With the large inner screen, I've always wanted Samsung to add front screen compatibility for the S Pen too, so... Removing that support now feels like a step backward. Unless they surprise us with a smart alternative dot now, let's talk design. Leaks and renders suggest the Fold 7 could bring a more refined under-display camera, stronger screen layers, and most importantly, a less noticeable crease. These changes, while subtle, could add up to the biggest jump we've seen since the early generations. Think back to the leap from the original Fold to the Fold 2 or from Fold to the Fold 3. That kind of transformation is what we might be getting again. Another thing to keep an eye on is the rumored Galaxy Z Fold Fay. Samsung may finally bring a more affordable foldable to market, just like Motorola has done with its tiered flip phone lineup. Currently, Samsung offers just one premium model at around $1,899. But what if they release a Fold Fay at $1,399 or $1,299? That could be a game-changer for users who want a fresh foldable. Without spending nearly $2,000, a cheaper model could open. The door for many new users those who don't want refurbished or last year's model, but also don't want to break the bank. If Samsung can deliver something new, reliable, and reasonably priced, it could completely shift the foldable market in the US. Samsung started the modern foldable trend, especially in the US, long before the Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open, or... The Oppo Find N arrived. They still have the edge when it comes to software experience and multitasking. Even if competitors are catching up in hardware, so if they can deliver on the Z Fold 7 with the upgrades we've all been asking for a while, keeping the core features that make the Fold special they could easily reclaim their crown in the foldable world.